Hi, welcome to Open Door Yoga. My name is Michelle, and this video is part of my Recover and Restore yoga series. Today, we're focused on the hips and the low back. Now, if you're here because you're feeling a lot of stiffness, a lot of soreness in that general area of your body, you may wanna consider having a few props here just to support you. We will be spending a little bit of time in seated and also some time on the ground. And so if you're on a hard surface like me, or if you need a little bit of a lift under your sitting bones, feel free to grab a blanket or even a stack of blankets. I have a couple yoga blankets here with me, but any household blanket or even bath towel, beach towel will do. You may wanna consider having a prop to give a little extra length to your arms Maybe coming into a seated forward fold. And while you definitely don't need this prop, it may be something that feels good in your body. So feel free to grab it if you have it. If you don't have a strap, a belt, a scarf, even a light hand towel will do the trick. The last prop you may wanna consider having is a low support surface. So I have a couple of yoga blocks here with me. You could also use a stack of books or even position your mat in front of a low coffee table or maybe even the seat of a sturdy chair something that you can just rest your hands on into if folding really deeply just doesn't sound good in your body. So take a moment, gather any belongings that you need, take a minute to get situated, then let's get started. We're gonna to start today's practice in child's pose. So make your way into a comfortable kneeling position or maybe hero's pose like me tops of your toes or tops of your feet down onto the mat, toe mounds to touch, and then shift your weight forward just enough to bring your hands down so you can slide your knees out a little bit wider. Now they can come into this wide, wide um, option close to the long edges of the mat, but if that's feeling like a whole lot in your body this morning, you can slide them in a little bit. Begin to walk your hands back, bringing your weight over your heels. Take a moment to notice any sensation that you're feeling in your quadriceps, maybe even down by your ankles. Full breath in, reach the crown of your head up towards the sky. And exhale, keeping your weight down, walk your hands forward until you can extend your arms long, forehead reaches down towards the earth. If this is feeling like too much opening in your chest, first thing in the practice, grab your blanket or grab a low support surface, bring it under your forehead just to bring the ground up a little higher to meet you. Feel sensation through both side bodies, maybe even lift up onto your fingertips. Maybe press into your fingertips or palms to keep sending those hips down and back. Full breath in. Exhale, walk your hands towards the left side of the mat. Maybe even your right hand comes to rest on top of your left. Inhale into that right rib cage. Feel sensation through your entire right side body. Inhale back to center. And exhale, take it to the right. So arms can stay at shoulder distance, or if it feels good, maybe that left hand can come on top of the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release. Scoop into your belly. Begin to find a little bit of engagement. Walk your hands back slightly just so that you can bring your knees in line with your hips and then your feet in line with your knees. From here, begin to make your way to puppy pose. So forearms can come down to the mat Walk those hands forward and slowly begin to bring your forehead down towards the earth. Feel the sensation in your upper back body. 
And if you're not feeling any sensation here and you're feeling a pretty significant sway in your low back, maybe scoop that tailbone down slightly just to find a little length through your low back, bringing the sensation back into your mid back, upper back body. Toes can be untucked. Or if it feels better to tuck them here, you can do that as well. Inhale, really notice your entire rib cage filling up with new breath, new air, all the way down into your low ribs. One more full breath in. Exhale, find that engagement in your belly as you slowly walk your hands back to hands and knees. From here, let's just take a few cat cows to warm up our spine. So wrists are under shoulders, knees are under hip points. Inhale, find a lift in your tailbone. And as your belly drops, pull your shoulders back to send your heart space forward and up. Vitilasana cow pose. On your exhales, round through your spine, press away from the earth, Marjoriasana cat pose. Flow with your breath, allowing your natural inhale to send you into cow pose and your exhale to send you into cat pose. And Bt Lasana, feel this widening between your collarbones, between your chest, or in your chest. And in cat pose, feel that sensation between your shoulder blades. Movement starts at our tailbone and works its way up the spine. As you move into cat pose, scoop that belly in. Take a couple more at your natural breath pattern, your natural breath rate. Come back to your tabletop spine. From here, scoop into your belly just enough so you can send your right foot forward. Both hands come onto the inside of your right foot. Toe heel your right foot to the long edge of the mat, and then turn your toes out about 45 degrees. Send your hips forward and down, lizard pose. Now this is a great place to check in. If you're noticing a lot of sensation, maybe grab a low support surface to bring your hands up a little bit higher. You could also use your stack of blankets. If you're looking for more sensation, you could consider folding and bringing your forearms down onto the mat. However, if you fold and notice that your hips start to pop up, come on back out. We don't wanna lose the sensation in our hips just for the sake of bringing our forearms down to the mat. A Couple more breaths here. See if you can relax those shoulders down away from your ears. You can ground down through the top of that left foot to help you keep your balance. If you folded on your exhale, find some engagement in your belly. Inhale, rise back up to your hands and begin to toe heel that right foot back into a low lunge. Send your hips forward and down. Maybe find a little bit of lift through your chest. You could bring your hands to your thigh, maybe even to your low support surface if that feels good. That opening through your left hip flexor. Exhale, release, scoop in that belly just enough to send that right foot back to hands and knees. Take a moment here in the center. If it feels good, you can find a little bit of movement. Maybe send your hips out from side to side, gaze past the opposite shoulder. It's 
Since we're coming into some deeper stretches today, it may feel good just to take a little bit of extra movement in between postures. Find what feels really good in your body. Make this practice your own. When you're ready, we'll find stillness. Find that same scooping in of your belly just to create space. Descend that left foot forward, hands come to the inside. Toe heel your left foot to the long edge of the mat. From here, toes out 45 degrees. You can untuck that back toe if it feels good. And then find the position that feels best in your body. So maybe you're staying here on your hands. Maybe you're folding a little bit deeper. Take a minute to notice any differences that you feel between the two sides of your body. We tend to hold stress or tension differently in the two sides of our body. And so if your posture looks a little bit different on one side than it did on the other, no worries, totally normal. We'll be here for another full breath, release any tension in your neck. Exhale, scoop in that belly if you folded and inhale, rise back up. Toe heel your left foot back in line. Send those hips forward and down. Make your way to your low lunge. Maybe take a shoulder roll or two here just to remind yourself to keep your shoulders down and away. Release any tension in that shoulder and neck area. Sometimes when we're focused on some really deep hip and low back stretches, tendencies to kind of round and hold a lot of stress, especially if it starts to feel uncomfortable. See if you can make a mindful effort to release tension in your body. Use your breath to help you. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands. Find that space to step your right foot back. Make your way back to child's pose. Find that connection between your breath and your body. Maybe notice if this child's pose feels any different than the first one. On your next exhale, scoop that belly just to find a little bit of strength. Inhale, walk your hands back as you lift your chest. We're gonna make our way to seated. The posture we're going to um, take on is Gomukhasana or cow face legs. And so that takes a lot of flexibility in your low back and your hips. So I invite you to grab a blanket or two or three and bring them under your sitting bones. Ooh, if you think it's gonna be helpful. From here, extend your legs long. And you have a couple options. You can stay right here and take a forward fold if that feels nice. If you'd like, you can cross your right leg over. Maybe give it a quick hug to your chest just to feel a little bit of opening into that right outer hip. Maybe take an ankle roll or two. And then plant the sole of your right foot down onto the mat and kind of toe heel that foot out to the side. Shins about parallel, maybe a little bit less than parallel with that long edge of your mat. Nice tall spine, you can stay here. Or you can rock onto that left hip, bend into your left knee, kind of drawing your left heel towards your sitting bones until this shin is about parallel with the long edge of the mat. And then take a minute to get situated. We wanna ground down evenly through both of our sitting bones. So it may take a minute, a little bit of shuffling. And if you're trying this and it just doesn't feel good in your body, choose another option. Extend this left leg long, maybe even come to a comfortable, easy seat. 
that one um, that I started in in the beginning. Come back to your breath. Release any tension in your hips. Maybe send your breath towards the parts of your body where you're feeling a lot of sensation. If you'd like, release your fingertips to the mat behind you. Press gently to send your, hip, uh, your heart space forward and up. Exhale, maybe press a little bit more to fold at your hips. You can bring your hands in front of you. If you're feeling really loose and limber in your hips, maybe you come down to forearms or fold even deeper. If you'd like to take some type of fold, but the ground just seems really far away, bring your blocks, your books, your blankets underneath of your hands. There's nothing wrong with bringing the ground up to you. One more full breath in. Exhale, full exhale. Strength through your belly. If you fold it, inhale, rise on up. Begin to rock onto that left hip. Extend your left leg long. Uncross your right leg. Come back to a comfortable seat with the soles of your feet on the earth, knees shining upwards. You can bring your hands behind your back for a moment, maybe even windshield, wipe, uh, windshield wiper your legs from side to side. We're gonna take Omukhasana or that cow face leg posture on the opposite side. So it might feel a little bit different in your body. If you know there's a prop that you need or something that's gonna help support you, feel free to grab it right now. And as you're ready, let's extend those arms long. Maybe take a Dandasana staff pose where you ground your hands into the ground, shoulders slide down, find a little bit of strength in your belly. And then let's cross our left leg over our right. I invite you to take a quick moment to hug it to your chest to help open up into this outer hip before we really, really settle into the posture. Plant the sole of your left foot down, toe heel it out, and then rock onto that right hip if you'd like to bend into that right knee. Take a moment to get situated and know that you have options. A nice, comfortable, easy seat is gonna be just fine and you're gonna feel it in your outer hips when you fold. So take a moment to stack your shoulders over your hips for grounding down through both sitting bones. And then you can release your fingertips back. Find a little bit of lightness. Lift up off of your waist. Shoulders still down away from our ears. No tension in our neck. Maybe even shake your head side to side. No. Feel a little sensation through your upper shoulders. And then if you'd like, you have the option to press a little bit more to help you begin to fold. If you are folding, just check in to what's happening in your back body and your upper body. If you're really hunched over, take it back a smidge. I want you to feel like you have a nice tall spine. You're holding a little bit of sensation between your shoulder blades. Shoulders are really relaxed down, keeping tension out of our neck. Imagine that your neck is just an extension of your spine. Let's take one more full inhale. Fill your low ribs, fill up with all of that fresh new air, fresh new breath, fresh energy. Exhale, release. If you folded, find some engagement in your core just to support your low back. And on your inhale, rise. Rock onto that right hip so you can extend your right leg, uncross your left. We're gonna make our way back onto our belly. So any way that you'd like to get there is just fine. You can scoot your blanket off to the side if you've used it. 
Maybe rock onto your knees first and bring your forearms down. Extend your legs and release your thighs, the tops of your feet down onto the mat. Forearms are in line with your shoulders. Elbows are under your shoulders. Nice long neck. And from here, pull gently into your palms to send your heart space forward and up. Find length through your low back. Settle into this nice, gentle spinal um, extension. You can ground down into the tops of your feet to help you maybe find a little bit more length. Nice neutral neck, so we're not gazing up towards the sky. But if it feels good, you can take that kind of side to side neck rotation where you gaze past one shoulder and then the other. Take one more full breath exchange. And then on your exhale, release your forehead down, bend into your elbows. So your head's gonna come to the back of your hands. From here, Bend into your right knee, and we're going to come into a half-bound angle posture. So you could bring the sole of your foot down by your shin, or maybe up towards your thigh. You could even rest it gently on the inside lining of our knee because we're not pressing. We're not in a, um, a standing position, so it's not going to put any stress on your knee. Bring that awareness back to your breath. If you'd like, you could even bring your knee up and out to the side, coming into a half frog posture. Allow your upper body to relax. Grab your blanket if you'd like to pad your knee, if it's off the mat. One more full breath in. Exhale, release your right leg back in line with the rest of your body. Take it to the other side. And into that left knee, coming into a half uh, Baddha Konasana or half bound anger posture with any position that feels good with your left leg. Allow this posture to really settle into your body. And as it settles, if you need a little bit more sensation, I invite you to slide that left knee up and out, making your way to a half frog posture. Send your breath to your low back, to your hips. Release that tension, release that stress. physically, metaphorically, let go. One more deep breath in. And exhale, release that left leg long. We're going to make our way to Sphinx Pose one more time. Keep grounding down through the tops of your feet. Really pull through those palms, find length in your low back, reach your heart forward and up. You're going to feel sensation between your shoulder blades. I love this posture, not only for the back extension piece, but also for general posture. 
to help me remember to keep my shoulders back. Walk confidently, walk tall, walk in a position that best supports my body. One more inhale and exhale, release. Scoop into your belly just enough to help support you as you come up onto your knees. Walk those knees under your hips and then come onto your hands. Make your way to seated so you can cross at your ankles and come over that way or maybe rock onto a hip and come that way if that feels better. We're going to come into a seated forward fold. And so if you'd like, grab your blanket, stack of blankets, maybe even grab your extra length for your arms if that's something that you like to have. And then get situated. So as you can see, I have a very tall lift here and that's just fine. You could even stack a couple blocks under your sitting bones. Bringing your hips up higher than your knees is really gonna help you as you try to fold forward. If you're experiencing a lot of stiffness oh, in your low back today and in your hamstrings. So extend those legs long, take a moment to feel strong. So you can bring your fingertips behind you. Just ground down through both of your sitting bones, maybe shuffle from side to side to find that grounding. Reach the crown of your head up towards the sky. And then exhale, maybe press into those fingertips to send your heart forward. Now in Paschimottanasana, sometimes there's a tendency to draw our nose down towards our knee. Imagine reaching your heart space forward towards your hips. And I wish I were feeling a little more flexible and could show you a different version of this posture, but this is where we're at today. And so you can bring your hands to the mat in front of you. You could rest them gently on your legs. You could bring them towards your toes. Wherever you are, just nice tall spine. If you want to use your prop, bring it around your toe mounds. What's nice about this is it can help you keep this nice tall spine while also inviting you to fold a little bit more deeply. If it's uncomfortable to bring it around your toe mounds, you could also grab a book or maybe your block. Bring it to the bottom of your feet. And then uh, grab your strap around the block. Sometimes that gives your feet something a little bit more stable to ground into. So take the option of your choice. If there's a slight bend in your knees, no worries. Sometimes engaging through your bandhas can help you to fold a little bit deeper. Let's just take three more full breath exchanges. Shoulders still sliding down away from your ears. Nice neutral neck. Gaze is past our big toes. On your next exhale, strength through that belly if you folded. And inhale, rise, release your props if you've used them. And we're gonna make our way to face the long edge of the mat. You can keep the props if you'd like. If you found that your stack was too high or too small, maybe take a moment to adjust. And as you get situated, extend both legs long. So they're gonna be out to the side about maybe 90 degrees between your legs. Ground down through the backs of both of your legs. This is an active posture. Flex into your ankles, so bringing the tops of your feet up towards your shins. Bring your hands behind you. And from here, we're gonna to begin to fold to the right. So slide your right arm down your right leg. Left arm can come up and overhead. You may feel this in your hamstring. You may feel this a lot in your low back. 
So now if it feels good, you can bring your forearm down to the earth on the inside or outside of your leg. You can also just let it rest on the top of your leg or maybe on a low support surface. Left shoulder blade is flat on our back body. Send your breath to your low belly. Full inhales, full exhales. Nice neutral neck, again, release any tension. Couple more breaths. Inhale, rise on up. Take a moment in the middle. If it feels good, maybe do a shoulder roll or two. And then as you're ready, inhale to create this nice tall spine. Crown of your head reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, fold to the left. Take whatever option feels best. If you like to bring your forearm down, you can bring it to the front or to the back. can use any props to help support you. Maybe you grab your extra blanket and bring your lift up a little bit higher. Right rib cage is reaching up towards the sky. Left rib cage is reaching down towards the ground. A few more breaths. Remember, if this is feeling really intense, send your breath to your lower belly. One more deep inhale. Exhale to release your breath completely. And then inhale, rise on up. Help your legs with your hands to come back to center. Maybe take that windshield wiper from side to side again. Let your spine neutralize for a minute. Release your low back. And as you're ready, we're gonna make our way onto our back body. And so if you have these blankets, awesome. Use them as a pillow. I'm gonna set mine right here by the top of my mat. And then take your time coming down onto the mat. If you'd like, you can even bring your hands behind your hamstrings and take one last gentle pull to open up through your heart space. And then slowly make your way down onto the earth. You can use your forearms to help you kind of take it in stages. As you arrive, your head can come onto this prop as long as your shoulders your shoulder blades can ground down into the earth. And then hug your knees into your chest. Feel that stretch in your low back. If it feels good, maybe even rock those knees from side to side. Give your low back a little bit of a massage. You can even draw some circles here. Extend your feet or release your feet down to the earth. Cross your right ankle at the bottom of your left thigh. Make your way into a figure four posture. So you can just press gently your right knee away from your body, or you can hug your left thigh towards your chest. Either way, there's some flexion in that right ankle to protect your right knee. And also to keep the sensation of the stretch where we want it, in our hips. You could play with extending your left leg, maybe even just taking some nice gentle ankle rolls, letting your body slow down. Reconnect with your breath. If you lost it somewhere along the way. Exhale, release your left foot down, uncross your legs, take it to the other side. Find that 90 degree flexion in your ankle and then choose whatever option feels best for you. Noticing that or acknowledging 
that it might be a different option than on the opposite side. Shoulder blades are still flat. They're both grounded down into the earth. Take some ankle rolls. If your hamstrings are feeling a lot more flexible than mine are today, maybe extend through that right leg. Exhale, release. We're gonna finish with a nice spinal twist. So bring your arms out to cactus. Press into the soles of your feet to shift your hips over just a couple inches to the right and let your knees drop to the left. Check in to feel your right shoulder blade still grounded onto the earth. Maybe send your gaze past your right shoulder to help it stay down there. You could also grab a blanket or two and bring it underneath your bottom knee or maybe even between your top and bottom knee. We're gonna be here for a few more breaths. So if it feels good, you could even play with crossing your right leg over your left. If you're looking to bring a little bit more sensation into your body. Nice full breaths. Inhale, rise on up. Uncross your leg if you crossed it. Shift your hips back in line. And then press back into the soles of your feet to send your hips to the left just an inch or two. Drop your knees to the right. We shift our hips over just so that our spine can stay in this nice, um, nice straight line. as you get settled into this posture. If you are looking for some, like a little less sensation, grab a support to bring under or between your knees. If you're looking for more sensation, maybe cross your left leg over your right. Just as long as you can keep that left shoulder blade grounded. A couple more breath exchanges here. Inhale to come out of this stretch. Shift those hips back in alignment. Extend your legs long. And I invite you to make your way to the Shavasana of your choice. Thank you for sharing this practice with me today. Namaste.